Well, hello there. How are you doing? Oh, you're all well. I am so glad to hear it. And so am I. And here I am. I'm in week 19 and four days and 14 hours. But who's counting? Well, I am, of course. <laughs> so, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to escape again. I can't stay here. I have to go somewhere. So, let's find somewhere interesting and exciting, shall we? Oh, I know. About a month ago, one of these subscribers challenged me to take in a flight into some bad weather and suggested somewhere in America. So, it just so happens that a hurricane has just passed through the Gulf of Mexico. It's in Mexico right now, but it certainly caused a lot of problems for people in Texas. But as you know, with hurricanes, they do tend to spread their wings out a little bit and cause all kinds of problems on the periphery. So I decided I would make a flight into Miami. Miami, of course, is, gets an awful lot of unusual weather during hurricane season, and this is hurricane season. But where to go from to get into Miami? And I decided I would go from Cuba, from La Habana Airport in Cuba. So, it's not that far. It's a little under an hour. American Airlines does that route, by the way, so I'm going to follow American Airlines going from Havana to Cuba, from M-U-H-A to K-M-I-A. So if you're ready to join me, hop aboard and let's go and fly. Oh, and yes, the weather was interesting. I'll let you know right now. It was blustery. There were gusts up to 24 knots going into Miami, and the runway was all underwater. It was raining cats and dogs, and since we were next to the Everglades, probably alligators too. We survived. We can tell the tale. So join me, will you? Welcome to Ryanair 186. Today we're taking a dawn flight from La Havana in Cuba and we're going to go to Miami in the lovely orange state of Florida. So, if you're ready, climb on board. Join us, why don't you? First thing we do, do you remember? That's right. We turn on the power, we have 28 volts. Then we turn on the fuel pump, and then we start the APU. This little needle will climb up. This is the engine gas temperature, it'll climb up and then we'll come back down and settle about four. And then these lights will pop on, indicating that the unit, the power unit is generating 115 volts and then we will switch the bus from our batteries to running the power off of the auxiliary power unit. There it is, it's gone up and it will come back down in just a moment. And there's the light. Now, up here, you can see we're now 
running on 115 volts. So let's turn on the galley, emergency lights, fasten seat belts, and up here, turn on the window heat, the probes, and the hydraulic pumps. This turns on the APU bleed, and then these turn on the air conditioning in the aft cabin. And we'll turn on the steady light on our aircraft to let people know that we are warming up. Okay, right, so far so good. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to turn on the IRS left and right and then what we're looking for are archers over these two windows to tell us that it is active. There's the one and there's the other. Good. It's now seeking out our location. I'm going to first of all go into the menu and we'll show you behind the scenes of PMDG. I'm going to go to Flight Simulator Actions, 6490, so 6490, good. Here's our payload. We are full with 174 passengers and we have cargo of 250 and 250 in the forward and the aft, giving us a half a ton altogether. Okay. So now we'll go into the position. Our airport is M-U-H-A. M-U-H-A. Now we'll go down to next page. And here's what the IRS has returned. Our GPS is located here. So we will select that. It goes into the memory, previous page, and now the route is active. Push the route button, origin comes up. Now here's where we're going to cheat. We're going to just bring in straight away the, uh, the flight plan from PMDG because it was already made and we're just going to shortcut it, that's all. So select that. Execute, put in our flight number, which is RYR 186. Ryanair gets everywhere, doesn't it? Activate, and that's got that in. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to put in our fix. So, our destination is KMIA, so KMIA. And we need a 4-mile circle, we need a 10-mile circle, and we need a 30-mile circle. Next we go into the descent and go to forecast. And then we'll put in the information for flight level 200, flight level 150, and flight level 100. Our Q and H will listen in. Kilo Mike India Alpha Airport Information Charlie one zero five three Zulu weather wind zero six seven at one four gusting to two four visibility one zero sky condition four thousand six hundred scattered ceiling six thousand broken temperature two one U point niner Q and H one zero two six advice on initial con one zero 26 is the Q&H and it looks like we will be coming in on runway 8 after all and notice we've got gusts to encounter, gusts of 24 knots. So that is going to be interesting. Now the next thing we need to put in is the direction and speed of the wind and we get that directly from our flight plan. So it is 271 at 6, 
two, seven, one, and six. And it is three, oh, one at six. And then it is three, sixteen at two. And then execute that, so now that's locked in. Now we'll look at the departure, and for that we need to listen in to ATIS. So we'll tune in the ATIS at 132.5. Jose Marti International, Airport Information, Delta 1125, Zulu, wind 085 at 6, visibility 6, sky condition 3000, scatter, temperature 20, dew point 13, altimeter 1023, landing and departing, runway 6. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Delta. Well, we have Delta. Okay, and we're going to be departing on 6. We're going to be on the Hugar 4 departure, and our transition is going to be at maxim. So, put that in. And then for our arrival at Miami, we're coming in on ILS runway 08 right. We'll be coming in on the Coso 5. And the transition is Eden. Now we'll go to the legs and we'll check out our flight plan to see whether or not it's actually going to be good. Okay, we're going to look on here and I'm switching now to plan. And now I'm going to go step through each of this to make sure that everything is working. So, Copra, and now that joins up with that, so we go straight into runway 8. Good. Now we need to initialize the route. So, perform the initialization. Now our planned fuel for the, uh, the trip is 5,799 kilos. That's close enough to 5.8, so we'll put 5.8 in on that. Our reserves are 3.3. Double click to get the zero fuel. Const index is 10. Our cruise altitude is 290. And the cruise wind is 72 at 6. Now, 6,000, of course, is for Europe, but in America, in the Americas, the transition altitude is 18,000. So, one eight zero zero zero. Now we can execute that. Go to the N one limit slash two zero, and then take off. It's a long runway, so we can go with flaps five. This will calculate the trim four point seven six, and here we now have the V2 setting of 144. So we'll put that information in and then we are ready to make our start. All right, we'll set this one to progress. Now we'll just check all of this information. So our departure course is 059, 059, 059. Our altitude is 29,000. 
and we need to set this for 29,000 and this the landing altitude to zero because the runway is only seven feet above sea level. Right so we've got the pressurization and our passengers are all on board so now we need to just check and make sure that this is working so and let's see we have green lights on both that's saying that everything is set so 144 and it's all good across the board so autopilot VOR is set well we're pretty good all right attendance bring up the stairs and let's close the forward hatch we're looking for these lights to go off now we'll check our okay fuel is check windows locked both check seatbelt sights signs are on door lights are out mcp is set take off thrust take off speeds both sets cdu pre-flight is complete rudder air on trim free and check taxi takeoff briefing completed anti-collision light is now on so that's the before start checklist complete. So now let's ask the tower for clearance to depart. And we're going to be departing to the north. Marty Ground, Ryanair 186, request taxi for north departure with echo. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 6 via taxiway Delta Alpha, contact tower on 121.9 when ready. Taxi, hold short, runway 6 via taxiway, Delta Alpha, Ryanair 186. So, we have to depart. We'll be going in that direction. So, we'll go backwards and put our tail over on the other side. So, if everybody's ready, we'll turn on all the fuel pumps. Turn on the overhead light. Okay. All right, seat belts on and push back beginning. Now, what we'll be looking for are 24 on here and then we introduce the fuel to idle. And we'll be watching this as the gas temperature increases we want to make sure that we have a good smooth burn okay here we go then turn off the air conditioning switch to engine number two for a first start and we're looking for 24 When we get to 24, we'll introduce the fuel lever, there we go, to idle. Okay, we've pushed back sufficient. We'll stop, put the brake on. Now we're watching, making sure that we, the spin up is good. And there we go, it's fired. And now we'll switch to number one. We've got 115 volts on that. Now again, we're looking for 24 on here. And then we'll introduce fuel. There's 24. Bring the fuel up. Now we're watching to make sure that we get a good ignition. Yeah, it 
spinning up. And we've got a good burn. All right, switch that off. We've got 115 volts. Now we're going to switch to the power being generated by the main engines. And then we will turn on the air conditioning turn off the APU bleed and turn off the APU. Right, turn on the taxi lights and do the before taxi recall, check, flight controls, check, flaps. We need flaps five Yellow light for flaps in transit. Good, we have a green light. Auto brakes set to AP to RTO. And speed brake lever is down and detent. Ground equipment is clear. We are clear now to taxi to the active. So break off. Let the crew know we're going to be moving. Apply a little power here to get ourselves unstuck. And we need to go down that way. This is a cloudy dawn here in Havana. We need to turn left here. about this place there are no kamikaze vehicles to get in our way. Look left, look right, and then turn right. have to go all the way down to the very end. Now that we are warned of birds in the area, this is after all quite tropical and we are close to a lot of water so we must keep our eyes open for birds. We don't want to have a bird strike.
at the access point and then we'll be tuning in to the tower for takeoff clearance. Brake is on. Ready for departure to the north at runway 6. Ryanair 186 cleared for takeoff runway 6. North departure approved. Cleared for takeoff runway 6. Ryanair 186. Okay, before takeoff engine bleeds uh, on. Back auto landing gear. Start switches continuous. Landing lights are on. All right. And TCAS is on. And the clock is on. So now we'll move into position. We've been given our clearance. Maps are set, RTO, everything checks. Make sure nothing is coming. Line up on the center line. Okay. Last check. Good. Advanced power to N1. And toga button.
Tira. RTO off. 98186, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. And autopilot engaged. Flaps are still at five.
is looking good. We have a full aircraft, 174 seats all filled with people and we're now at transition altitude of 18,000 feet. Switching to standard. Kilo Mike India Health on Airport Information. Delta 1053, Zulu weather wind 067 at 14, gusting to 24, visibility 10, high condition 4600, scattered ceiling 6000, broken temperature 21, 2.9 or QNH 1026, rise of initial contact with the Delta. Kilo Mike India Alpha Airport Information. Delta 1053, Zulu weather 067 at 14, gusting to 24, visibility 10, high condition 4. Well, we're still on course for 06 right approach, but the gusts are still there. So it will be interesting to see what sort of a landing I make today. Oh dear. No pressure then. If you've been following the news, you'll know that just over to our left, to the west a little bit, was a huge hurricane that hit the Texas coastline. So there will be some uh, peripheral effect from that, even as far over here. So the weather will certainly be unsettled. We are in hurricane season now. Let's hope we don't find one.
Everything is looking good. Set this for zero five four for the next leg. Next waypoint is going to be over Key West. Whenever I think of Key West, I think of Edward G. Robinson and Humphrey Bogart and all those wonderful actors of the black and white film days. Even Sydney Green Street was in that one. a bit of cloud below us. It'll be interesting to see what the weather is like when we come into Miami. If it's gusting to 24 knots, well then that will be interesting. It is 8.04 local time here. And we're on schedule.
we're starting our descent. descending into all of that Pressurization, check and check on that. Seatbelt signs are off at the moment, but we'll put them on in a little bit. Recall, check, auto brake, armed and check. Landing data movements, or check, approach briefing complete. the seatbelt signs on. As soon as we get into that cloud up ahead it's going to be a little bumpy.
coming up on a transition altitude so I'll be ready to switch over to Q&H There's 18,000 enter into the cloud layer. just crossed over the coastline of Florida. If we crash here, we'll have alligators swimming up the aisle of the plane. <laughs> so we'd best not crash here. Eh?
to 11,000 feet. And we are definitely instrument conditions here. International Airport Information Uniform 1222 Zulu Wind 066 at 14 Visibility greater than 20 miles Sky condition 4600 scattered Ceiling 6000 broken Temperature 21 Dew point minor Altimeter 1026 Landing and departing Runway 8 right Runway 8 left Runway minor Runway 10 right Runway 10 left Runway 11 right Runway 11 left and runway 12. VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have uniform. Well, we have uniform. We have the ATIS for Miami and it doesn't look brilliant. And we're still in instrument conditions. Temperature is plus 17, so we are okay for the moment. with uniform to land. Ryanair 186, Miami Tower, make straight in runway minor, altimeter 1026.
Make straight in runway minor Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance to land. in that would be up to our armpits in alligators. And the air is definitely bumping. out a little bit that we're going a little bit slower. And I can just see the the runway up ahead slightly to the right. Brake set, flap set, engines continuous, attendants prepare for landing. up 
on the localizer in just a moment. As soon as we can acquire that, we'll switch to the localizer. Here we go. And the localizer will take us straight in onto our runway. Good.
clear the runway. Taxi to the gate. Ryanair 186, taxi to gate, whiskey 60, using taxiway, Mike 7, Mike November 6, November, whiskey Yankee Sierra. Taxiing to gate, whiskey 60, using taxiway, Mike 7, Mike November 6, November, whiskey Yankee Sierra, Ryanair 186. Water here on the surface. A lot of surface water indeed. Wow.
bring us into the international <coughs> international satellite where we'll need to go through customs and immigration please have your passports already Bienvenido a Miami. Right, TCAS off. MCP is clear. Open the door. Down with the stairs. Seat belts are off. Okay. is complete. 